This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. We're back again on Around Kansas. Good morning. Good morning, folks. And we've got another great story for you, another just incredible person. These lives you can't make up. Um, Colonel Hughes, whose exhibit's going on now at the Kansas State Historical Society. And his story was really stumbled upon um, after death in the family. They were going through the attic and found the negatives for these pictures. And it just kills me because you never know what's stored in attics and basements, you know, and, and um, accounts of historical events. I was in the... Um, one of my favorite stores in Oakley the other day, or in Colby rather, and found an old ledger. So it's a heavy ledger book. But this lady had kept it as her recipe book and her journal. Uh, walked a cow over to the walkers after the storm today and, and a bunch of clippings from 1918, so 100 years ago. And she'd write her recipes in it. And it's only about a quarter full. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to pick up where she left off and put down the daily happenings and, you know, and one day that will be discovered in my attic, Frank, <laughs> and maybe they'll put up an exhibit about me. And by golly, I'll do it on Around Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Frank. I appreciate that. Yes, we will. Let's take a look. A hundred years from now. While cleaning the house of her husband's grandmother after she passed away, Michelle Kaufman found small binders containing about 1,500 negatives, Unknowingly, she had discovered the photographs taken by Colonel James C. Hughes before, during, and after World War I. Hughes' story is both common and exceptional. He was born in Topeka in 1888. He began his service as a member of the Kansas National Guard and was sent to the Texas border with the American Expeditionary Forces in 1916 in the search for Pancho Villa. As a member of the U.S. Army, he served from 1917 to 1948 and fought in both world wars. He left many detailed records of his time in service. He photographed battlefields and towns in Europe, recorded his survival as a Japanese prisoner of war, and saved many belongings from the wars that were later donated to the Kansas State Historical Society. In essence, he captured his life. Hughes was destined to have a military career. His father, James White Frierson Hughes, joined the Kansas National Guard in 1884 and rose to the rank of Major General. He was Adjutant General of Kansas from 1905 to 1909. Ancestors on both sides of his father's family served in the military with distinction dating back to 1776 when his great-great-grandfather and seven brothers fought in the Revolutionary War. His career as are the images that record those historic events, is remarkable, and it is told in this special exhibit, Captured, the Extraordinary Adventures of Colonel Hughes at the Kansas Museum of History. Most of the 600 photographs he took in Europe are from his time serving with the Occupation Army following World War I, from November 1918 and June 1919. When he was shipped home, he boarded the USS Zealandia at Brest Harbor, France, Hughes steamed into New York Harbor on July 31, 1919, and photographed the Statue of Liberty, or as he referred to it, the Goddess of Liberty. From there, he made his way home to his wife Mabel and the children, waiting for him in Topeka. Guys, we have to go already. I'm Frank. I'm Deb. And we'll see you somewhere around, around Kansas. Kansas. Welcome to Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. Red ripe tomatoes and churned homemade ice cream. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream.